When will they come? Any day. You know, we've set up a controlling committee to conduct affairs for the duration, and a secretary, and to ask you to join. One would have to deal with Germans. Inevitably. Shouldn't like that. When will it be not just survival? When is it helping the enemy? When for the controlling committee? When? When for you? And if I tell you that I'm concerned at all, ease for you as best I can the misfortunes of war. Will you believe me? Should I? When I was at Peter House, I used to hunt now and then with the cots more, you know? And always there was some hard ass chap to say, What a jolly fine bump round. Must have been a cracking five mile point. Now, shall we have some tea? That man is a general now. I think it's disgraceful the way you burst into people's houses. Well, Kluger, I'd say, is a fox. You may have a mission to accomplish, Reinecker. I merely have a job to do. If I were, would you report back to your Brigada Fuhrer? Meyer Friedel, who is to some extent drunk, is a danger to the security of the Reich. But the war is being fought elsewhere. Not here. Not on these islands. Not on Guernsey. We do not wish for trouble. For us, for you, we wish only orderliness. But the regulations must be observed. We are at war. What I do criticize you for is naivety. Small kindnesses tend to cloud the issue. Which is what? That we are at war and you and I are enemies. Why academics are sometimes naive? The reason is they assume everyone else to be as rational as they are, yes? All the generals, all the officers call you swore. By God, this holy oath that we would render unto Adolf Hitler supreme command. An Austrian of the corporal. We swore obedience without question. God help us, we swore it. In God's name, why? You have no one to blame but yourself. You were given every opportunity. But I've done nothing to be ashamed of, Haupt von Reinecke. Whereas I think you have very little to be proud of. The Germans invaded this island. They're the enemy. I can't forget that. I don't think I ever shall. And ordinary humanity has no place in it. He was smiling, and I killed him. He was smiling. I Sorry. You dare to say that to me. Sorry. I've just killed your son. Sorry. We'll make it all right. For such an achievement, you're prepared to sacrifice the lives of five people. Your own, Mr. Porteous, the Frenchman, your maidservant, and your father. You are all implicated. My father didn't in even know. For which the penalty must be death. You and I am the third commandant. Prisoners of an act of utter irresponsibility from which no one can profit. Then if you do not wish for five executions, there is only one thing to do. He was the destiny of Germany. For good or for evil. You know, don't you now? 